suis très heureux d'être ici ce soir, comme vous tous, pour célébrer la, la carrière de mon collègue uh, Kevin Lynch. Je pense que je travaille avec Kevin depuis presque, presque 20 ans, je pense. And uh, I, I do want to start tonight by uh, thanking the Public Policy Forum for uh, recognizing, uh, recognizing the Public Service of Canada, the, part, the importance of the Public Service of Canada with the celebration here tonight of a truly remarkable public servant. In fact, I was sitting next to the Governor of the Bank of Canada and we found that this is such a wonderful idea that both him and I will be handing in our resignations tomorrow. <laughs> I've called my mom. I think she's going to come. I don't know who else will. Um, well, we know and we've heard tonight that Kevin, uh, Kevin is a proud Canadian. Uh, he was a remarkable clerk. And he's now probably one of the most overqualified home renovators in Nova Scotia. <laughs> um, since assuming this role of clerk on July 1st, I don't know why uh, I was uh, appointed on July 1st. I didn't sing on the hill, but that was the date that I became clerk. I, I really have truly come to appreciate uh, more fully the role, basically, of the, the, of the three, three key uh, roles of a clerk, which is <coughs> senior advisor to the prime minister, it is the secretary to cabinet, and it is the head of the public service. And these, all three roles that Kevin managed with great professionalism, nonpartisanship, which is very, very important part of our role of public servants, and very much integrity. He has indeed, as, uh, as a number of you said, left some very big shoes to fill. Uh, but before I speak of that, uh, about Kevin's legacy as clerk, I want to tell you another story about this man many years ago. Uh, it is true in Ottawa that Kevin has been seen as somewhat of an overachiever. And, uh, and it's probably no surprise to you that as early as grade two, Kevin was already setting very high sights. Uh, I'm told at the tender age of seven years old, grade two, Kevin and one of his friends are walking home from school talking about the Russian Sputnik. And if you're, those of you who are old as me, I mean, that's one of the first space uh, ships uh, to go up in space. And Kevin turned to his friend and said, you know what? You know what we should do when we grow up? We should become aeronautical engineers. Now, the friend said, what the hell is an aeronautical engineer? <laughs> Kevin, without a blink, said, these are the guys that build the spaceships. Now, most seven-year-olds who would know about spaceships would think that they would like to fly spaceships, not Kevin. He wanted to build spaceships. And I think that's, that's, that energy and that drive took that kid out of Cape Breton and brought him here to Ottawa and made him one of the best public servants we've ever seen in this country. You know, as senior advisor to the Prime Minister, the first role, my predecessor distinguished himself with not only an unfailing commitment to sound public policy advice, but also an insatiable appetite to challenge assumptions and offer the best analytics. Analytics was Kevin Lynch in support of that advice. And you know, you never wanted to be in a room with Kevin when you were providing him some of that advice and see that cold, calculating stare at you. You know you aren't going the right way on this one. <laughs> An economist, as we know, a former deputy of both finance and industry, we've heard a lot about that, with the experience of the International Monetary Fund, what a great choice the Prime Minister made to have him as a chief policy advisor at the time that we saw our worst economic and financial crisis of the 1930s. That was a tremendous vision by the Prime Minister. I don't know if he predicted the, the recession, but the fact that Kevin was there at that time was extremely important. 
he's also one of a very select groups of clerks to occupy the most in the post entirely during minority government situations and during that time he helped stick handle the, th uh, the thorny issues of the day including Canada's involvement in Afghanistan we heard he went there he went there twice the complex relationship with our neighbors to the south and the challenges faced by many sectors the environment and energy in particular a secretary to cabinet Kevin reg regularly demonstrated his uh, legendary work ethic we've heard Saturdays and December 26 and of course his limited energy during his tenure Kevin signed off on more than 8,800 briefing notes to the Prime Minister and oversaw more than 1,000 cabinet and cabinet committee meetings. Now I also have to give credit to the Prime Minister because he had to read every one of those 8,800 <laughs> briefing notes. As head of the public service, well I think here is where Kevin's legacy really stands. He did place strategic human resource management squarely on the front burner for all us public service leaders. He committed to leaving the public service a stronger institution than the one he entered. And as part of the energy and dedication he brought to the whole of the public service, the Kevin Lynch era at public service will be known for his work in a number of, in a number of areas. First, by signing and clarifying, which had got it very muddled, the ultimate responsibility of people management with deputies where I think we all believe who, those of us who work in the system where it belongs. He established a very outstanding and very rigorous deputy minister performance evaluation model which has set the bar and the tone for all of us in the public service. He introduced a new advanced leadership program which provides experience learning and experience by traveling not only in Canada but around the world for our future leaders in the public service. And because of Kevin, we're back on campus across this country. We're recruiting new public servants to come in to work for us and they're coming and Kevin's enthusiasm, job fairs, whatever, we're back there and we are going to benefit for years to come because of the initiative that Kevin put, on, put in place to recruit again, to recruit actively across this country. And also he mobilized the efforts of regional councils, many employee networks across the country to generate support for public service renewal and to share responsibility for moving this agenda forward, as I said, in the years to come. All of this at the same time as he was working through the largest economic stimulus package that we've seen in Canadian history to deal with the economic downturn. And so, Kevin, the torch has been passed on uh, from you to all of us in government who will try to carry on your legacy by continuing to build the modern, the confident, and the high-performing public service that serves Canadians well and provides Canada with a competitive advantage to the world. You know, when I reflect on Kevin's career, I'm, I'm reminded of how the great British statesman Benjamin Disraeli defined success. He said, and I quote, the secret of success in life is to be ready for his opportunity when it comes. Well, Kevin, you were certainly ready for your opportunity. You wanted to make a difference, and you did. You cared about the quality of advice and work, and it showed. So on behalf of many of your colleagues are here today, on behalf of other public servants, and the most important thing, on behalf of the 250,000 public servants whom you led through challenging times, thank you, Kevin, for your dedication and your commitment to Canada and your extraordinary contribution to the public service. We will always remember the tremendous work you've done. Thank you. Merci. And now I'd like to turn it over to another legendary public service, a former clerk of the Public Service of Canada. Uh, and I have to say, my first deputy minister when I joined the Public Service of Canada, Mr. Paul Tellier. <laughs> 